What's up YouTube? It's your girl Sophia from RSVP. I'm here today to do a book review. I'm going to review this Vogue Editor's Eye coffee table book that I received uh, for Christmas. The actual documentary will be coming on this month on HBO so I thought the timing was perfect. Um, so if you're interested in finding out what all this book is all about, stay tuned. When I came to Vogue in 1988, one of the first changes I made was to credit the editors responsible for styling the sittings. These days, it's hard to imagine that those so crucial to bringing a story to life would go unrecognized. Cast your eyes over the credits in Vogue today and you will see that manicurists, set designers, and should they be required animal handlers are all given their due for the contributions they've made. Oh my god. Like, okay. I'm gonna post this on Instagram right now too. Angela Lindo breastfeeds her son Sebastian and reveals a 24K smile. Like, this picture is off the charts. I like love this photo. It's a mouse mask by Philip Peter Phillips. Look how amazing that is. Like this photo is fantastic. So you you know the photo is by um, Irving Penn, and it's it was for Vogue 2002 November and it's a deflated football that illustrates the effects of overtreated skin.
So today to do this book review for you guys, I also wanted to share my outfit of the day with you and it's really really simple, something that I repeat all the time. I'm doing my favorite thrifted leather pants today which are a pair of elastic waist uh, leather pants. Uh, they're pretty old. Um, I thrifted them downtown on Queen Street West that look like track pants. So I really like these. I wear them a lot. I rotate them in and out, so I and do at least wear them once a month. Top that I thrifted a really long time ago on the clearance it's rack. It's actually a little big for me. It's a medium, but I love this top. It's polka dots and it's buttoned down. It has a round neck and I just love the black and white and I just love the way it sits on me. So I tucked it in today. Sometimes I wear it out, but with these pants, I thought it was appropriate to tuck it in. And I wore it with this uh, shiny necklace that has black and gold with a little bit of stone detail or crystal detail. I'm also doing this huge bracelet that has a lot of bling. Um, I chose this bracelet to really stand out because I'm going to be reviewing the book for you guys so you'll only see my hands. Um, but I hope you enjoy this outfit. It's so simple and casual. It's good for a meeting. It's good for working from um, home. And for shoes, I'm just doing my Sam Edelman spiked loafers. Really, really simple. Um, so that's closing off the look and my nerdy glasses that I picked up in New York City. enjoyed the video um, again Vogue's editor's eye is available at amazon.com I'll make sure I put the link down below and also remember that this month on HBO check your listings um, it will air three times in Canada this month the documentary um, called Vogue the editor's eye I'm excited to see it definitely gonna make a ladies night of it um, so check it out and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time Hi, Fluey. What's up?